Welcome back to my channel. We're back at the Regalia. We've been here before, we've seen the penthouse, we've seen the beach house, but now it's time to show you what a regular condo, I can't even, I don't know if I should say regular, but I'm gonna show you what the typical condo unit looks like in the Regalia. Besides the crazy art hung everywhere, this unit is completely furnished, comes furnished for the asking price, and it has four bedrooms, six bathrooms, you're looking at about 5,000 square feet. And on top of that, this balcony terrace that I'm on wraps completely around 360, so no complaints there. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk, I'm a realtor in South Florida, and this is what I do. I show you the nicest homes for sale and for rent, and this is just another one. So subscribe if you'd like to see more. And on that note, let's go get started. So as we come off the elevator, right, the first thing I see is a beautiful piece on the wall. And you know, the art isn't as included because we got some insane pieces here, but when you put your art here, this is just a placeholder so you can see what it's going to look like. As we come into unit number nine, double doors slap open and you just got a view going from one end to the other, as you'd expect. The first piece that strikes me when I walk in you have this $1 million art piece, blown glass, hanging from the ceiling. And you know, like I said, not included in the sale, but when you get your glass blown million dollar art fixture and you put it here, it's gonna look just as good. Don't worry about it. So as you very carefully pass around the art piece, it takes you into your living room. You know, you've got the space here for the two sofas, two armchairs, maybe more. Coffee table right? This place is also very nicely lit up. You have hi-hats going all over the place, bare walls. It's just very open and it leaves the most important part at your disposal, these great views. So we'll come from here and we'll just pass over to the dining table because it's worth talking about. And also as I'm walking, notice the design of the place. You know, you have mirrors on this display and it reflects the ocean so you feel like you got it on both sides which you need that and then just let's just talk about this really quick this dining table right you got a 10 person beech wood dining table on top of that you know what you can call this a chandelier i'm gonna call it an art fixture that's what it is the whole place is sweetly complemented by these views and while we are in this room talking about the views that you get let me just show you firsthand what it looks like to walk out on that terrace. Follow me. And just like that. So when you come out here, the view is special for a specific reason, right? When we did the beach house down below, it was very low to the ground. Some people might not want that. They want the more private space outside. The penthouse was very high up. Some people don't want to be so high up. However, on unit number nine, the height you are is perfect. It's not too windy, it's not too high up, it's not too low, you still have privacy. This is the unit that most people will feel the most comfortable with. The cool thing is this terrace actually goes all the way down and curves around this side and around the entire unit itself. The view you have from right here, you're looking at nothing but multi-million dollar beach houses this is really the only place in Miami, right here, basically Golden Beach, where houses are directly on the ocean. So that, those are your neighbors. Like I said, it continues all the way around, wraps around the street side, and comes back down the opposite side. So you got easily enough space for 100 people to have a party out here. This is an entertainer's paradise. It's a family paradise. It's a paradise for anybody. So follow me back inside, and while you're following me, just keep an eye on that view. As we walk right back in, cross over this dining table one more time, admire it while you can, and then we're gonna cross down into the kitchen because, you know, where do you take the food once you're, where do you make the food that you're gonna eat on this dining table? It's the kitchen, but before we get into there, right before, on my left you have a half bathroom. And you know what? We've seen half bathrooms. I've shown you a few half bathrooms on this channel. Have you seen one like this? Copper bowl, copper faucet, 
th this is your lighting. I, I can't even describe it. Antique looking mirror and the interesting wallpaper that you see here. How about the wood cabinets? Just off this half bathroom, you'll notice right here the door to the kitchen is red. And there's a reason for that. The whole kitchen is red. They've done this thing where they've complemented the red cabinetry with a white island, white countertops, and it works perfectly if you ask me. Right before we get deep into the kitchen, however, let's talk about this breakfast table that you have just off the main cooking area. They didn't just put a glass table with a couple stools, right? It's detailed, more, way more detailed than that. You have this like restored wood under the glass, matching the wood for the seats. It just looks very inviting and it complements the view that you get just looking out into the ocean. Balance with the red on the cabin trees, you have this red light fixture, fits like a glove. And over here, a little extra storage, maybe to put your more expensive plates, the stuff that you don't want people to use every day. And it sits right under this Creston screen. And this screen is actually the smart technology that controls the entire house. You can do it from your cell phone, or you can just do it from right here, control the music, temperature, window shades, lights, everything you need straight from this huge iPad. And then when we come across, let's actually get into this kitchen. So, th so the first thing obviously besides the shock factor of this red, that takes a little bit to get used to, but as soon as you do, beautiful. I notice that on one side, when I look over here to my left, I see the ocean, the reflection of the sun, and then on my right, I see the bay. It's the best of both worlds, right? And so as we come in, it starts off right here, even space, if you wanna put a bar stool just in the kitchen, there's a gap right here for it, or just leave it open, right? You got this huge island going all the way down, and then this great wall of just red. So starting with the appliances, you have a sub-zero wine cooler, easily can hold 100 bottles, pass some storage, some storage, and it takes you to your four Mila appliances, right? You have, a, you have the dual ovens, microwave, and the coffee maker espresso machine, a must. If you've had these, if you know these, I don't know. But I, I, if you do, then you know. <laughs> but uh, so as we come into here, take a look. The red even continues onto the fridge. And look how you know you're in a good house when the fridge looks that organized. I should definitely want one of these, it look delicious. But yeah, very safe. And the cool thing is, on the other side, you have another fridge and your freezers, you actually got them down below. So you have one, two, three, four freezers just place down below over here. On top of that, look at all the storage I get underneath, underneath all these cabinets, and they're pre-organized, even down to, I mean, what tools fit into this, you know? Is that a wine bottle opener? It just has tools for everything. All the drawers are just oversized. You got great space for all your pots and pans, so you're never gonna have trouble. When it comes time to cook, right? You have a Mila stove top right here complemented with the Mila vent. So you got the two best of the best in the cooking game. Service sink, just like right over here. So if you're cooking, you wanna quickly wash up. And then you have the main sink right over here. And you know, I know your sink at home might be nice, right? Maybe you got some good views, but does your sink overlook the ocean and the Bay of Miami, trees flowing? Probably not. This is where you can get it though. And the cool thing is about how they designed this, they actually made it so underneath the cabinets, it's natural light is what lights it up. So when you're standing far back or you're standing right here, you can see the glow of the sun coming in just underneath, it's spectacular. I love the floating cabinetry. And uh, you just have the dishwasher flawlessly hidden over here. And just look how beautiful it looks. You got a Fisher and Paykel dishwasher and you get some more storage. Just trying to see if there's anything else that's cool. A unique kitchen, but once you let it digest, tastes delicious. God, what a weird choice of words. Okay, so I actually really like the transition from the kitchen to this TV entertaining room, probably where like most people will spend the time with their family and watch movies and whatnot. I really like this because it flows so nicely. It doesn't even feel like you're leaving the kitchen. It's, it just feels very inclusive. So if you're cooking, there's an event or something going on in this kitchen, Thanksgiving or whatever, it just, it just, you're together. You're still in the same room. It's really nice, I, I like that a lot. So when you come in, the furniture choices in this room are just as nice as the views that you get, right? You have this great couch that's overlooking a monster of a TV. And you know what? You would think that, you know, you live on the water, you don't want to have 
anything obstructing the view. So what they actually did is you, get, you still get your big TV, but on the sides where like you'd hang your family heirlooms or pictures, it's see-through. So you can see right through, still get the water view, still get the natural light view, and it makes this huge structure actually look very natural and, and non-obstructive. They did a great job with it, and then it ends up with an armchair over here for your thinking, you know? Got, got to come home from a long day at work, you just sit down, think, and wow, this chair is comfortable. And the view I get from here, just I can see right through this bookshelf thing into the water on my right, the bay, on a peaceful day, sunny day in Miami. It's, it's a, this is a great room to have. And if you just look down the length of this whole place, you can see what I was talking about. It all feels like one piece. And it's really, the, the way the developer did it, he nailed it. So we're gonna actually go take a look now at the guest bedrooms, leading up to the master bedroom at the end. I have to say that for last, of course. As we come down the hallway to the bedrooms, it's gonna take us into our first guest suite. And all of them are unique in their own way. So we're gonna see all of them. And you know, you saw that red in the kitchen. So you're gonna see a little bit, little bit of flavor in the bedrooms as well. You have this red textured wallpaper over here. The twin beds. You have kids, you don't have kids. Still great to have, it looks, looks like, like a postcard, honestly. All the rooms have great closets. All pre-cut design, storage, organized for sure. TV mounted on the wall, access to the balcony that goes around the entire unit. And right over here, an ensuite with a walk-in shower, floating vanity, and they kept it a little bit more traditional with the fixtures in here. You know, they kept it marble, clean, that neutral color. So you still, it doesn't go too crazy in here, you know? But it still looks very unique and nice. And each room actually has the remote on the wall. So if you ever wanna just close the shades, they come down and they give you immediate privacy. And the speed on them is actually really quick. So you don't have to wait like an hour for the, the thing to come down, it just flies down right away. So I'll stop it right there and go back up. So from here, let's go take a look at the next bedroom. Just gets better from here, honestly. So as we come down this hallway that I'm passing on my left, this is where the elevator was. I believe the laundry room is actually in here too. And having a mirror at the end of it amplifies the whole walk. Great place. And it's gonna take us down into the second guest bedroom. A little bit more neutral in there. It's even more neutral in here. You still get the red to complement the colors that you were seeing in the other rooms, but the wallpaper here now that you see, it's still textured and I've actually never seen anything like it. It has like little knots in it. It feels very beach wood type of feel. And the floors as well, even though there are these huge slabs of marble, it resembles sand. So you still feel like you're on the beach, top it all off, queen bed, and then a light fixture to light up the room, give it some love with its same organized closet on both sides, and it leads to the ensuite. So in the ensuite, I think it's gonna look almost the same, and I was right. This is a little bit more lighter neutral, so less gray, more tan colors, and in each bathroom, they have a floor to ceiling window, and you know, you're washing your hands, you're above people's houses so no one can look in. So let's pass on over, take a look at the next guest suite. Over here, this is where you're gonna have your office. Every house needs an office. Most people these days are working from home, so let's say this is a bedroom or an office. Let's go with office for now. In here, you have a walk-in closet. Unlike the other two guest suites, this actually comes in, has a window in there as well, but this is a great place to store suits or maybe office supplies. You can make this like a, like a walk-in desk so you don't have to worry about the space in here or something like that, you know? But the great thing is is that it's got a great view, you know? So from your office, from your bedroom, ocean view is going all the way down. I can see the coast going all the way down and the views go all the way, wraps around. We have the blind down for this side and it comes in. The bathroom here is also really a lot bigger than the other ones, you know? You have the tub that also is a stand-in shower and normally when they do like the tub stand-in shower thing, it's like a tiny tub. It's a huge tub. Taking a bath in there would be quite nice. And like I was saying earlier, a little bit bigger on the vanity, but you still have that floor to ceiling window overlooking the views and there's a guest suite that I can, I can call my own. So from here, we're gonna enter the master bedroom backwards, starting with the bathroom. And um, 
this is really where it turns up, if you will. As I leave the office, it's going to take me into the master bathroom. You'd have this door closed, most likely, and the first thing that I see, towel warmer. Okay, pretty special, Jason. What else do you have to offer? Here, you have your first bathroom facility, the toilet. The toilet has an amazing view of the ocean. On the right of coming in, this is the first of the two closets, and it leads down to the main walk-in shower. The shower here has got the interesting wooden floor, the rain head above, and once again, it's got those insane views. As we pass here, dual sinks, of course, and that same antique looking mirror that you would see in the half bathroom that we saw earlier. As it comes down further, what's that? Another walk-in shower. However, this one, the walls are 75% glass. You have glass here, glass, and then a window. So this is really the shower. I would, this is my shower. I'm not going to any other shower besides this one. And you know what, if you want to take a bath as well, you have this, look at the size of this tub. You have a huge, huge soak-in tub, once again overlooking, and let's say you want to take a bath and have a little bit of ocean breeze, fresh air. That's all you gotta do, just open it up. It's perfect. There are blinds in here as well too, so if you would like to lower the blinds for privacy, that's, that's a possibility as well. Also, here is the second closet, and look how it opens up. So you just swing, swing these doors going around and it leads you in. And this closet, this is the Mac Daddy closet. This one goes down a huge length. It's got mirrors, storage, everything you need, even place to sit. This is a big one. This is the, whoever has the most clothes is the closet you're gonna need. And then it's gonna take us from here to the last bathroom. This is the Final toilet, so you have one on one side, two showers, it's got two of everything. Everyone needs two. And it takes us in, and now we're gonna take a look at the master suite. So, as we come in from the master bath, I know that was impressive. It gets even more impressive. The master bedroom. This is the creme de la creme of master bedrooms, right? A king size bed. And you know, I love this wallpaper, the knotted wallpaper that has a little bit of red in this one, matching the, the furniture, even a place for a sofa, and even with all these things, you still have all this open room to do whatever you'd like. The windows go completely around, so you've got the best views. Definitely the best views from any bedroom or room is in the master bedroom. The coastline and then the open ocean in front of you. A huge wall, floor to ceiling mirror right here. Whether it's to check out your outfit, expand the room, whatever it may be, it's really nicely done and it needs to be there. Don't even think about replacing it. And so, We'll take one more final look on this balcony. So let's say you wake up and it's time to go outside in the morning. You come out and this is what you do to go see the ocean. You step outside. So on that note, while we're out here, I'd like to say thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you'd like to see more tours like the one you just saw below, don't forget to hit subscribe and thank you. Happy New Year.